welcome to another of Mrs. Catmull's phonics lessons. This is my group one. So this is going through the phase two sounds. Some of us have already done a phase two once before, but we're using it to help us to write them much better and to start blending them to read, okay? So phase two is what we are tackling here. So we're going to start our lesson with going through the flashcards of all the sounds that we've learned over the last two weeks. So my first one is going to be this one. Two arches, what sound does this one make? It is mmm. And this one is ah, ah, ah. The one with a little dot on the top, i, i. This one, the very first sound we learnt, And this one, t, 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 and this one, p, p, p. Right, fantastic if you remembered all of those, that's excellent. Now, we do have a new sound that we're going to look at today, and it's going to be this one, okay? It looks a bit like the mmm, but it only has one arch, so you wish up, down, over for one arch, and a flicky foot to finish, and this is the N sound, okay? Now, I'm going to show you the story for N. Put my book back again here, which is falling to pieces. Here it is, whoops, our story for N. So we have, oh, there we go, put it back together. Okay, so over here we have our non-cursive N, which really isn't much different to a cursive one. It just doesn't have the whoosh leading up to it. And this one here is the capital N. Still makes an N sound, but you'll often at this age, you'll have to look at it at the beginning of name. So if your name is Nicola or Nancy, then you would like a nice capital N on your name. Um, and also at the beginning of sentences, when we start to write sentences, you'll need a capital there. So it's good to recognize the capital versions of the letter sounds. Okay, let's read my story. It says, the little girl has gone fishing with her grandfather. They hear a loud mm sound. They look up in the sky and see an airplane moving above them. The little girl holds out her arms and pretends to fly like the airplane, making a mm sound. So you have got to make the noise while holding your arms out like this. So I'll show you what I mean. Arms out like this, like the wings of an aeroplane, and make a mm, mm sound. So it sounds a bit like the engine, imagine an engine noise of an aeroplane, but Mm, look at my lips, they are open, so it's different to mm when my lips are closed. My lips are open and it's mm. My tongue is sort of just about touching the top of my mouth. Mm, but definitely have your lips open, very important. And that is our mm sound that we are learning today. Okay, let's have a go at writing out mm sound. Take your magic finger out first, let's do it that way. Pop it onto the picture or onto the screen where you can see the picture and whoosh up to the top, down, up to the top again, but go over in an arch and a flicky foot to finish. Okay, you can be doing it with your finger on your carpet at home. Remember, not pens but fingers. Practice doing it on there. So, whoosh up come down straight, go back up almost to the very top and then go over in an arch with a flicky foot to finish. Make sure you come up quite close to the top before you do your archway, that's very important because when we start to learn other letter sounds, you'll realize that you don't want a big stick hanging at the top. So whoosh up, down, up, almost to the very top and then over and a flick to finish. Let's have a go on our board, shall we? If you've got a board there, fantastic. If you are using pen and a paper, that is just as fantastic. I'm going to stand up for this. Pen at the ready. So, making an N mm in a cursive form. 
We are going to start at the bottom and wash up like we do with all cursive letters. And then we're going to come down, down that line a little bit, but keep going straight to the bottom. Then back up. Now remember I said almost to the very top of the line and then start coming over in an arch down to the bottom and a flicky foot to finish. And that is mm, there. Let's have another go at doing that together. So, pen on at the bottom. We cursively wash up as we always do. Then we come down using that line a little bit, but going straight at the very bottom there. Then back up the line again, almost to the top, and then start to arch over back to the bottom and a flicky foot to finish. Let's try it one more time. You can, of course, pause this video and practice as many times as you want to, to do the mm, or after the video, you can give it another go. So we're going to wash up, come down to the very bottom, go back up that line, almost at the top, and then we go over in an arch, come down to the bottom again and a flick to finish. And there is our mm, sound of the day. Fantastic, well done. Okay, while we've got our boards out, I wonder if we could go back and revisit writing some of the other sounds we've already learned over the last two weeks. Could you now have a go at doing a p, p? Let me show you the flashcard in case you're thinking, I can't quite remember what one looks like. There it is. So we're going to wash up, down, up again, round for the circly bit and tickle the belly to finish, okay? Let's do one together. We are going to start here. Now remember, we whoosh up, but we're going to go lower than the whoosh. It's one of those ones that dips their tail in the water, as I say. So we're going to start here and whoosh up, but then when we come down, using that line a little bit, but going past the cursive whoosh, like it's much lower than that, let's move away from the light. Then back up to the line to the top, where we go round, and tickle the belly to finish with your cursive whoosh. Okay, so you can pause the video and have a go at doing that a few more times. We are now going to revisit doing a, a, t, a t. Let me just show you the flashcard in case you've forgotten a t. Here is a t. Nice and easy this one. Whoosh up to the top, use the line to come back down, but then curve the other way, pen off, cross across the top. So we are going to put our pens on, cursively wash up, use that line to come down, but then curve the other way to your cursive whoosh, pen off, cross through the top. There is your t. Okay, last of all, can we please revisit an i? Let me show you the flashcard for i. Here it is, nice and easy. Start at the bottom, wash up, use that line to come down, but curve the other way, just like the t, but much shorter, not such a tall letter. And don't forget to take your pen off and come back and put a dot on the top. Let's do it together. We're going to start here and wash up. Use that line, whoops, to come down, curve the other way, and then a dot on the top to finish. And that is your cursive i. Well done with those, that's fantastic. Let's move on now to, oh, we're going to do a spot of reading. So I'm going to write some words on my board and I'm gonna come round to the camera at the front here to do these. And then I want you to look at my sound buttons that I'm going to draw underneath. And imagine that if you pressed each button, what sound would come out? Then we're going to blend those sounds together, okay? So my first one that I'm going to do is going to have these two. Sound. So here are my sound buttons underneath, okay? So we have got, if I press this button, it would make i, and if I press this button, it would make n, i, n, i, n, in. In is my word that I've written here, okay? So that's that one that I've modelled for you. Now let's have a go at doing some of these other ones. So this next word has three sounds, so three sound buttons, okay? And I'm going to pop one sound on this button, one sound on this one, 
and one sound on this one. Now, if you think you can blend this by yourself, pause the video and give it a go. That would be fantastic. You know all of these letter sounds. See if you can blend them together to read the word. I'm going to go through it with you now. So if I press this button, I'd have t, this one, i, n, t, i, n, t, in, tin. It's a tin, like a tin of beans. Well done if you blended that and got that word right. We can read so many words now, knowing these sounds that we have learned over the last two weeks. Right, let's try this one. Three sound buttons again. I've got this sound on that one, this one on that one, and this one dipping its tail in the water on this one. So, pause the video if you want to have a go at reading that without me, and I'd love you to give it a go, actually. I think you could give it a good try, but we're going to do it together now. So if I press the sound buttons, what sounds would come out? What are above the buttons? N, mm, ah. Nap, nap, nap. It's a nap. It's like a little short sleep, isn't it, if you're going for a nap. Fabulous. Pat yourself on the back if you got that one completely right and you blended it and read it by yourself. Fantastic. Okay, my next one. It's going to have three sounds again. Sound of the day again in this one. Here we have three sounds. So I'm going to press the buttons and the sound above, and I'm going to make that sound. But I'd like you to have a go pausing the video and doing it yourself first without me. But I'm going to go for it with you now. N, I, T, N, I, T, N, I, T, N, I, T, N, I, T. It's a knit. So it might be like sometimes if you ever got really scratchy head and there might be the old tiny creatures in your hair, they are called knits. So we've got a knit there, okay? And I think let's try this one. This one has the sound of the day in it, but not where it's been at the beginning all this time. So slightly different spot. So still three sounds again. Three sound buttons. Pause the video and have a go at reading this one. I'm going to do it with you now. It is p a n p a n p a n. Pan is our word. Pan. Fantastic if you read that marvelous work. Let's do one more, I think. We're going to go with this one. All right, let's rub my board off. This is still three single sounds with my sound buttons there. I've got this sound at the beginning. I haven't wrote that in the nicest way. Hold on. So I don't want to confuse you. Okay, so I'm going up, down, up again, round and tickling the belly. I'm going up and down here and here. Right, pause the video to have a go at reading this yourself. But now I'm going to go for it with you now. So my sound button has kind of disappeared because this one dips its tail in the water. But if I pressed it, it would make a p sound. P, i, n, p, i, n, p, in, pin. It's a pin. You might put a pin in a wall to keep up a picture. You might put a pin in a dress if you're pinning up the hem. So pin. Well done if you manage to read. Even just one of those words would be amazingly good at this point. In only two weeks, you are doing superb reading.